Mojo freaking Rawling. That's right, baby. Forget Seth freaking Rollins, Mojo freaking Rawling. <laughs> That's right. Um, how are you today? Oh, I'm great, man. We just had a great time break dancing. Carmella killed it, instructing this, uh, my first ever Zumba class. Got the Zubas on for Zumba class, and I'm feeling good, man. I got a little sweat, I'm kind of gross. Hold your breath during this interview because yep. I probably stink pretty good right now. I am holding my breath. <laughs> um, so I think you are the, the star of tomorrow in WWE. I truly believe you are something special. Thank you, my friend. I just wanted to say that. I no matter what people that. say, I think you are awesome. And I want to talk to you about what is going on with you in WWE right now. I don't see, I don't see a mirror with you today. I don't have a but mirror I, on But me. I'm excited to see you in front of more than just a mirror in front of big crowds. What are your hopes going forward in WWE? Hey man, I just, uh, we, we got something a little special right now, something a little different that we're gonna try and run with. Uh, pretty excited about it. It's different than everything I've been doing up to this point. Uh, no longer are we the over the top, boisterous, you know, hype character. Now it's a little more focused, uh, a little more edgy. Uh, just, you know, kind of a, um, a reflective element of the character. You know, everybody kind of talks himself up in the mirror at the end of the day and talks themselves through bad times, and that's kind of what this is. You know, I don't think I have, I'm in the, I don't think I'm at where I should be in this company right now, and, you know, it's time to kind of air that out and take it to the next level. So that's kind of what this is all about, and stoked to get rolling with it, dude. And creatively, is it something that you kind of have input in? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was was my idea, you know, it was something that I was kind of doing in my personal life anyways. You know, I kind of hold myself to a very uh, high standard and I'm very hypercritical. Uh, it's, it's not easy to please me from a work perspective. So, uh, you know, I was kind of doing that on my own and I was took it to Vince and I was like, hey, I, this, this is real right here. I'll, I think we should give, give this a shot and see what happens. From hype bro to hypercritical. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of got a ring to it. There you go, in a way. So if you could choose uh, an opponent to share the dance floor with this time next year at WrestleMania, who would be your dream match on that grand stage? Out of any current superstar? Yeah. Out of any current superstar, man. That, you know, that's a tough question. There's so many that are on the table right now that I'd like to have a match with. I mean, the easy answer to say is, whoever's got the championship at that that point because that's what I want that's why I'm here that's why I left the NFL it's you know I have a lot of goals and that's number one on the list so shoot I guess that man whoever's got the championship I want that thing fair enough which championship though Oh, the WWE Championship, okay, you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the one. That's the one with lineage, yeah. right? Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Um, and you're looking in incredible shape. Oh, thank you, my what, friend. Talk, talk me through your, your routine. Uh, my, I'm, I'm a big conditioning guy, so yeah, I do a lot of weights and I go down to the Performance Center and they put up um, competitions every week, so they have strength records and stuff, and I go down every week and I try to break them all. Usually pretty successful at it, but my go-to has always been conditioning, cardio. If I'm not about to pass out while I'm working out, then I feel like I didn't do anything. And you know, that's always been my thing. We've talked about stay hyped for years. I mean, all that is is being able to keep going when everybody else can't. So putting in the work, and, and that's, that's what I do, man. All my workouts are pretty awful. <laughs> They're pretty <laughs> brutal, but I wouldn't have it any other way. You really do push yourself, don't you? Oh, got to, got to. I don't want to blow up out there, man. I don't want to get tired. I don't want to get winded. You know, that's weakness right there. We can't have that. Um, worst moment that you've ever had in the ring? Worst moment? Yeah. Let's see. I took a couple shots from the Bludgeon Brothers in their uh, big debut match. That, oh. You know, I took a big kick. I didn't even feel their. <laughs> I didn't even feel their double power bomb after that. <laughs> that kick. I was, was rock, man. That was a good one. I like those guys. You know, I, I like when it's physical out there and yeah. everyone's being rough. You get into it way more. You feel that com competition, that drive a little bit better. So, hey, man, I'm all for it. Beat me up, baby. Let's rock. <laughs> and finally, let's talk about WrestleMania coming up on Sunday. MetLife Stadium, first ever women's main event, Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda. Um, how, how do you feel about uh, the, the three women headlining the show? I think it's awesome. I mean, they've been busting their ass, and they've really opened up a lot of eyes. And, you know, you've been talking about this women's revolution and everything that they've kind of overcome come over the years in the company it's fantastic now you you take Becky Lynch who might be the hottest thing in the company right now and you know Ronda Rousey who has a huge global name and then uh, Charlotte Flair who is Charlotte Flair with her lineage and everything like I mean that that match is going to be awesome and and they're they're in the main event and they're rightfully there awesome um do you want my big prediction yes I want to hear it Mojo Rawley world champion before the end of 2019. My man, I'm with that. For that. I like that, baby. Boom. I like that, baby. So good to meet you, man. A pleasure. Thank pleasure you. is all mine, my friend.